enemies will try to stop you if you are possessing a rat. While possessing a hound, you can sprint fast. At level 2, you can possess humans as well. Your control of humans is limited, so combat or fast movement are not possible. Possessing a human allows you to perform simple actions, such as collecting objects or operating doors. Allies of the human you are possessing will not attack you, and security devices attuned to the human you are possessing, like the arc pylon or wall of light, will not harm you. If you are falling, uh, possessing an animal or human on the way down will effectively break your fall. So it kind of sounds like you go into the animal or human when you possess it, instead of just possessing it from a distance. I don't know. I would have to try it to find out. Uh, ben Time. Level 1 slows time for a short duration. Ooh, that's going to be helpful. I need that. Um, level 2 completely stops time for a shorter duration. You move normally. Very nice. Strategic tips. Time is stopped for the duration of this power, but your movement speed is faster, relatively. Bend time is useful for sneaking and assassination, since your enemies are suspended in time. This power gives you time to slip past enemies and sneak away, or to rush them unaware for a lethal strike. Anything you come into physical contact with is pulled into your time and moves faster briefly. So if you bump into a person, they would be moving as fast as you are, apparently. Bend time is also useful for stopping projectiles in midair, giving you a chance to move out of the way or even collect them. Oh wow, you can collect them straight out of the air, that's pretty cool. Devouring Swarm. Level 1 summons a swarm of rats that will attack others, then disperse after short duration. The swarm will also consume corpses. Well, that's probably not something I'm going to get. Summons a larger swarm of rats that will attack others, then disperse after a short duration. The swarm will also consume corpses rapidly. Strategic Tips Unleashes a swarm of rats that attack anyone in their path. This is usually lethal against one or two enemies, but anyone attacked fights back. If the rats are released on a group of enemies, uh, sometimes that group can kill enough of the rats to disperse the swarm. Devouring swarm can also be used to quickly dispose of corpses, and if you also have the possession power, you can summon rats and possess one of them. Uh, at level 2, you spawn more rats. Your rats inflict more damage and devour corpses faster. That is definitely not something I'm going to get. Wind Blast. A powerful wind that can push back or knock down enemies and shatter doors. Level 2, very powerful wind that can kill enemies by throwing them into walls and shatter doors. While I definitely wouldn't get level 2, level 1 might be helpful. Wind Blast is used for shattering wooden doors and for fighting enemies, especially in groups. An enemy near a railing will be knocked over the railing, falling to his doom. Yeah, I probably won't get this actually. If an enemy fires a moderately heavy projectile at you, such as a grenade, or the tall boy's incendiary arrows, the wind blast power can hurl the projectile back at them, if properly timed. At level 2, the power will throw enemies into nearby walls hard enough to kill them. Yeah, well that's cool and all, I don't think I'm going to be using that. Vitality. Level 1, health is increased. Level 2, health regeneration is improved. Don't really care. Alright, Bloodthirsty. Level 1, build up adrenaline, then trigger brutal melee fatalities. No. <laughs> uh, level 2, build up adrenaline faster, then trigger brutal... Malay Fatalities enables a double attack for adrenaline kills, which can be used against multiple enemies within range. No. 
Agility. Jump height is increased and falling damage reduced. Hmm, nice. Overall movement speed is increased at level 2. Strategic tips. At level 1, increased jump ability allows for more vertical exploration, especially when combined with blink. At level 2, this enhancement increases sprinting speed, which allows you to rush an unaware enemy faster for assassination, or to run away when wounded. Climbing and swimming speeds are increased too. Hmm. Interesting. Agility will probably be something I get. Shadow kill. Unaware enemies who don't see you turn to ash as they die. No, probably not something I need. Uh, all enemies turn to ash as they die. Cool thing, but not gonna happen. Okay, so I definitely want dark vision. Definitely want bend time. Definitely want agility. Possibly want possession. But dark vision first. Press this to see in the dark and reveal living beings through solid walls. You can also see their fields of view as well as a visual representation of the sounds you make. Level 2 shows you important items through walls like security devices, weapons, ammo, coins, keys, or traps. Nice. How you use what I have given you falls upon you, as it has to the others before you. Sure. And now I return you to your world, but know that I will be watching with great interest. Okay. Okay, the Hound Pits Pub, Hidden Allies. Hidden in an old bar in the river, your new allies have plans to share with you. Meet with the loyalist inner circle to learn what they've got in mind. Well, I still got the compass on my hand. Hands in this game seem to be really large. Like, obscenely large. Piero's inventor, who's available to craft and upgrade equipment, blah blah blah, well, that's nothing important. Anything, uh, new appear while I was asleep? Probably not. I would like to reorganize some stuff. Let's see here. I'm gonna go ahead, put this here, this here. Um, I'll put these arrows here. And I'll put the heart on number four. I don't need any of these because those are just going to kill things. So that is completely unnecessary. Why is this on five? I don't want that there. Whatever. Okay, I like that. Let's see how dark vision works. What about dice? I don't know what that was about. Whatever. Alright, let's put that away. So I'll have to find some people and try out dark vision to see how it, uh, how it functions when they're around. I imagine there's not going to be any new coins or anything around here, so... Probably not necessary to really look around that much. Should I clear like someone's getting a haircut? Him? If you like, but he won't use it. Why? He can't sleep in regular beds anymore, or that's what he says. Says he was in the Navy too long. Can you believe it? Oh. That pile of wood out there? It's a hovel he built from an old rowboat. Where does Admiral Havelock find these people, I wonder? Eh. I like Sammy. He's okay with me. Yeah, it looks like everything that I had opened is still opened. Wallace, you're still a dick. And I refuse to talk with you. Absolutely refuse. Any, uh... Oh. Okay. I guess there is a little bit of uh, 
of new coin around here, unless it's just something I missed. Attention, citizens of Dunwall. The old port district Let's has see, been is there anything out here? List. I remember finding something. Now, that might just be something random that appeared again, or I missed. So, some of this stuff might regenerate, some of it might not. After you wake up, I don't know. Anyway, let's go talk to the uh, old admiral over here. Sup, dude? Well, let's get down to it. First off, I know that assassination is dark business. But yeah. sometimes, good men have to do bad things to make the world right. Our purpose uh. is clear. We want to restore Her Majesty's line by finding and putting Emily Caldwin on the throne. To those ends, we'll hide. Act in shadow. Take them apart, piece by piece. Tonight, High Overseer Campbell dies by your hand. It won't be easy. He's protected by his overseers, an army of religious zealots. But if anyone can do it, you can. Your exploits are legendary. Campbell carries a private journal. Once you've eliminated him, get the journal, because we think it contains Emily's location. Recovering her is obviously critical, assuming she's alive. That's the gist of it. Remember our cause and strike true. We're counting on you. Another sure. Thing. Campbell is holding a former overseer by the name of Martin. He's one of us, and if you manage to find him, give him whatever help you can. He's a master strategist, and he got caught working for our cause. It'd be good to have him back here at the Hout Pits. How the hell do you drink while talking? This guy's like a ventriloquist or something. The exquisite tall boy, huh? Excerpt from a letter of public concern by anonymous authors. What you've read here is the truth, regardless of what you will hear from the authorities who rule over us. It is not a matter of coincidence that the former royal spymaster is the one who stepped in when the late empress fell. We, who will remain nameless, believe that these events are interconnected. The signs of oppression are all around us. The Sokolov designs originally intended to provide light and warmth in our homes have been turned against us as a means of inspiring fear and controlling our movements through the city. And where did this plague originate? Some say it was imported. A wild theory? Perhaps. One of our members risked her life to obtain an internal report from the government, which we will be printing and sharing soon, called The Exquisite Tallboy, extolling the virtues of this newest member of the City Watch. To those in the streets below, these virtues are horrors, spread by stilted thugs who rain down fire on the sick and the poor. So those must be the things that we uh, saw shooting the fire arrows in uh, the frozen area there, called Tall Boys. Anyways, uh, to these eyes, the Tall Boy is another government bully armed with incendiary devices. Thickly armored and standing high overhead, looking down at the common people of the city. We now know that the tall boys are heavily drugged, imbibing a substance that renders them resistant to pain, but also dulls whatever empathy they might normally possess. Exquisite? We think not. Copy these words and share them with your neighbors, and remember, when the tides are lowest, the truth will be revealed. Mm hmm. I see. I see indeed. Well, well, that's interesting and all. I suppose it's time to go after that guy. I don't think there's anything around here for me. Also, I forgot to uh, test out the uh, zoom. Yeah, that's kind of cool. That'll probably be helpful. I can oh, see that coming in handy. What? Corvo. Hello. I'm Callista, 
Hey, Calista. I work here for Admiral Havelock. I'm sorry to intrude on your business, but this is important. I suspect you're going to kill the High Overseer. That wretched man. Maybe. There's really no reason for you to listen to me. But my uncle, Jeff Kernow, still serves as captain in the City Watch. But he's a good man, and my only family. Hmm. The chatter in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison. And I think I know why. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Campbell is going to poison my uncle. Do you think you could protect him? You used to do that, right? Before you had your current profession. Before you became an assassin. Hey, I didn't become an assassin yet. People have just been telling me that I'm an assassin. So apparently we can uh, try to save Callista's uncle. Hmm. And it sounds like they're going to try and poison him. Well, we can do our best. Hey, Sammy boy. How you doing? Just wondering, sir, if you thought about perhaps seeing Piero before venturing into the Overseer's Nest. I I'd already saw him. going with the best gear you can get together. I got plenty of gear. That hagfish really wants to eat the side of your boat. Let's get going, Sammy. Ready to go? Just give the signal. I've been ready. How did I use the zoom if that wasn't even on my face? I have no idea. Hi, Overseer Campbell. Uh, he leads the city's militant religious faction and is a close ally of the Lord Regent. Campbell is completely corrupt and holds the secret to Emily's location. Infiltrate the office of the High Overseer, steal Campbell's journal, and eliminate him. An ally to the Loyalists, Martin, is being held there. Free him and allow him to escape. We'll see what we can do. It'll be a rough trip. Used to be to go straight up Clavering Boulevard, but now it's not so easy. Half the city's dead of the plague. The other half's fighting over what's left. City Watch still holds the bigger streets, and they've set up those wall of light checkpoints. A man walks through one of those, and he ends up burned to a crisp. Everything not controlled by the City Watch is gang territory. And there are the real odd birds living on the fringes like that Granny Rags. They say she's nuts. I don't know which is worse. Just take your pick. Just gonna go sit here, eat some rat. Nasty. So I have to get past the first wall of light, use bottle street alleys to get around the walls of light, take the journal, spare Captain Kerr now, and talk to Granny Rags in her apartment. Interesting. Well, all right then. I'll eat that before you do. It's kind of tasty. Oh yeah, I completely forgot I can use this thing. I should probably use this at um, the other place that we were at with the Loyalists. There might have been some stuff. Oh well. I gotta get used to this thing. I wonder if there's anything down in this water. Probably. Bet you there's some hagfish down here too. Yeah, Sam, it's always too cold. Yeah, there's definitely hagfish. I wonder if you can kind of sneak around the hagfish. Well, this seems to be a wall. It seems like you can sneak around the hagfish. Which is cool. Alright. Let's switch to this and make our way up here. Yeah, it's nice. Well, I can see some rats. Oh, hello. 